flight where precaution was thrown to the wind, social norms were thrown to the wind. Passengers have now complained to the aviation regulator of the Kangana flight chaos. This was a flight that Kangana Ranaut took a couple of days ago from Chandigarh to Mumbai and then the events followed. There was a demolition happening on the ground. But on the flight, these are scenes that you can see. No masks, no social distancing and absolutely no regard of any safety norms and precautions that one has to take when you are in a flight. Vishnu Som gets us all the latest details. Vishnu, can you tell us what exactly uh, has been, what, what note has been taken care of uh, as far as these pictures are concerned? So essentially, uh, Sanket, and this is an important uh, clarification which our DGCA sources are telling us now, they've acted proactively on the basis of what they've seen on social media. And uh, I would presume that some of what they have seen is likely to be on the basis of a passenger complaint. So as I understand it, it's not directly a passenger complaint which they are acting on, but more by being proactive and you know keeping an eye on social media where they picked up uh, information uh, on what exactly happened on this flight. Now, as you mentioned correctly, this is, a, this is an out-and-out -out violation of social distancing norms, the, the conduct of passengers on a plane. You, say, you cannot uh, go and trust, uh, you know, mics and, and, and uh, uh, you know, in anybody's face and go on and on. Now, there, has been, there have been instances in the recent past when the aviation regulator has reacted very fast. The government has reacted as well. The uh, Kunal Kamra, the, the comedian, who uh, went and uh, thrust a mic in the direction of a TV anchor, uh, you know, on that particular occasion, there was a proactive effort at getting him banned for a few months. But this is something, there is something we shouldn't forget. The pilot of that particular flight, uh, you know, we accessed on NDTV some detail on a note that he had written to the management of the airline on that occasion saying that while action has been taken against Kunal Kamra, what about all the other instances of passengers misbehaving on flights? Shouldn't there be more action as well on them? In this particular case, uh, this is blatant. Uh, when, you know, all the reporters go and get out an actress uh, on, a, on an actor on a flight and, you know, no social distancing, pushing, where, where does that leave passengers on the flight and does anybody care? So this is a, this is a you know, it's something which, which reflects the state of the, the industry, the media, and it certainly is something that compromises flight safety. This is not, and it cannot be a free-for-all in quite this manner. No, absolutely, it cannot be a free-for-all. And interesting that you mentioned the case of Kunal Kamra, because uh, while the DGCA took action after a very proactive civil aviation minister who tweeted immediately, which led to the, uh, I wouldn't say ban, but uh, the no flying of this comedian on many yeah, of the flights, or whatever it was, a few yes. months, I forget the exact period. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, for In some flights, six months, in other flights, uh, uh, till further notice. I mm -hmm. just hope the same alacrity is shown in this case because that was one passenger. Here you've got at least 10 to 20 people. And remember, these are COVID times. Yeah, not just that, you know, Sankit, their faces are absolutely visible. And therefore, you know, there is a responsibility not just on... Uh, on organizations for allowing their reporters to actually behave in a particular manner or conduct themselves, there is a there is a responsibility on all citizens, irrespective of what the, their tabloid media may or may not require them to do. Every citizen is bound by the rules of this country to follow the rules. Those are laws. In this particular case, there are clear-cut guidelines on how they can behave on planes. Everybody knows it. You cannot just go up, get up, break social distancing when we... The same media has presumably gone ad nauseum talking about how social distancing will be maintained. You cannot, cannot inconvenience other passengers on board, whatever the, 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 the situation may be. Uh, you know, you are required to be seated on your flight other than the occasion when you go to the washroom or perhaps you're stretching your legs. The idea is to get out for a small period of time and then get back in. Over here, this is not a, a situation where you can have a, a media scrum in the manner in which we're shown. But again, what are the employers of these uh, reporters doing? Why have they permitted this from happening? And why isn't the uh, regulator or the government, uh, or will, I should say, the regulator and the government actually identify these specific reporters as, as individuals who have broken the law of the land and take action? It, it, it seems to be an open and, and shut case with the faces clearly visible.